White wines add joy to any wine fan's palate. They're crisp, fruity, and refreshing, and can be enjoyed by themselves or paired with a wide variety of foods. They're dry or sweet. Anyone can find a white wine they'll thoroughly enjoy. The challenge for any new wine lover is how to become acquainted with the different types of white wine. There are so many different labels on the market, it makes head spin. The secret is to start with the grapes. There are about 12 popular types of grapes that are used to make white wine throughout the world, and of those, four are the top choices for production and consumption in the United States. New wine enthusiasts should start by acquainting themselves with these four popular grapes. Chardonnay is by far the most used grape in the United States, and most likely in the world. More Chardonnay wine is consumed in the United States than any other type. That's both a blessing and a curse. The blessing part is that there are some outstanding Chardonnays on the market. The curse is that many techniques have been used to produce Chardonnays for the inexpensive and cheap mass markets. And really, that yields some barely palatable wines. Chardonnay grapes originated in the Burgundy region of France. Today, good grapes are grown in countries like Argentina, Australia, South Africa, and Chile. In the United States, they're grown in California, New York, Virginia, Oregon, Texas, and other states. The grapes produce different results depending on the specific climate and soil conditions they're grown in. French grapes are used to produce what are referred to as white burgundies, and wine critics generally regard these wines as the best produced from the Chardonnay grape. In fact, they're often called the original Chardonnays. In addition, there are outstanding Chardonnay wines produced in California, Oregon, Australia, Chile, and Argentina. The grape itself produces wines with fruity aromas and flavors. There are tastes of apples, tropical fruits, mushrooms, and minerals in different Chardonnays. The wines tend to be medium to high in acidity, which contributes to a crisp, tart taste. Some Chardonnay, particularly inexpensive ones, can be on the sweet side. Sauvignon Blanc grapes produce wines that are high in acidity with very noticeable flavors of hay, grass, and herbs. There are often hints of fruit and melons. The grapes are traditionally associated with France, but today New Zealand and Australia also have excellent vineyards. Generally, Sauvignon Blanc is not aged in oak. Riesling grapes are most closely associated with Germany, but they're also grown in the Alsace region of France, in Austria, and in Australia. They're not widely grown in the United States, and Riesling wine is far less popular in the United States than Chardonnay. Even so, many wine authorities regard it as the best of the white wine grapes because it produces wines with delicate fruity flavors and lightness. Many people think of Riesling as a very sweet wine, but in fact, Riesling can take varying levels of sweetness from dry to very sweet. It's not aged in oak, and it's typically low in alcohol content and high in acidity. It's very fruity and flowery, and it's light and refreshing. Start discovering Riesling with Moselle or Rhine cabinets from Germany. Pinot Gris is also called Pinot Grigio. Unlike the other grapes, this one is actually purplish in color. Even so, they produce one of the best white wines. The grapes are associated with France, but are also grown in Argentina, Chile, and Oregon. Each area produces a distinct grape. An underlying honey taste is common to all. Then, depending on the growing region, pear, floral, peach, spicy, and even orange rind flavors stand out. Now here's how to discover the wines. Local wine shops, not a grocery store, are a great resource for discovering white wines. Start with Chardonnay. Select two wines made from 100% Chardonnay grapes. Never blends. One should be aged in oak barrels and one in stainless steel. And the reason for that is that many people confuse oak tastes with the characteristic Chardonnay taste. And it really isn't. 
Sample both types of aging to discover the difference and see which one you like. Start with a French or California Chardonnay in the mid-price range of $15 to $25 a bottle. When you've done that, move to Riesling. Start with a wine from Germany or Alsace. Wine shop merchants can assist you in finding wines with the right amount of sweetness. Try both a sweet and dry Riesling. Next, discover Sauvignon Blanc. Try a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc first. They're really an outstanding value. And finally, when you've done all of that and you know your taste preferences, explore Pinot Gris. This approach makes it easy to discover personal taste in white wines. Explore the four most popular grapes first, then discover the eight popular types of grapes and their blends that are used in the rest of the world. Discover how oak barrel aging adds its own characteristic taste to the white wine. Experiment with the differences in sweetness and acidity. And all the while, remember to use wine tasting sheets to record and remember your impressions of each wine you taste.